Hello and welcome to a session of ratio and proportion. Let's take them individually. Ratio. What is a ratio? A is to B are said to be in a ratio of 3 is to 4. This does not mean that A is 3 and B is 4. This means that A upon B will give you 3 upon 4. A might be any number, 3 or 6 or 3000 or 6000 or any number for that matter. If A is 3000, B will be 4000. So that is what it says. A is to B is 3 is to 4. Let's take what is proportion. Now proportion is nothing but when A and B and C and D are said to be in the same ratio. This is A is to B are in a ratio and C is to D are in the same ratio. So A, B and C, D are nothing but in the same ratio. So they can be said as A is to B equal to C is to D. So A, B, C, D are in a proportion. Let's look at some concepts that they are there. There is something called invertendo. Invertendo is nothing but if A, B, A is to B equal to C is to D, then if we invert it, which is B is to A will also be equal to D is to C. So not, we are doing nothing but inverting the entire equation. Let's look at another one, alternando. Now what are we doing here? A, B, C, D are in a ratio or in a proportion. So we alternate it. We, rep we interchange B and C. So it will be A upon C equal to B upon D. We can do it otherwise also. B and C remain same. A and D can be interchanged. So D upon B will equal to C upon A. Let's look at another one, componendo. What is componendo? Now, A, B, C, D are said to be in proportion. So if I say, if I add 1 to both the sides, so A upon B plus 1, whole thing plus 1, equal to C upon D plus 1. So equation is satisfied, adding 1 to both sides. So I can say, okay, now it becomes A plus B upon B equal to C plus D upon D. Now, instead of adding, if we subtract 1, what will it become? A minus B upon B and C minus D upon D. This is called dividendo. So if you add 1, it becomes a componendo. If you say subtract 1, it becomes a dividendo. And if we add 1 and subtract 1 and then we merge it. So A plus B upon A minus B and C plus D upon C minus D. This becomes a componendo and dividendo combined together. Let's, look another, let's take a look at another one. Direct and inverse proportion. Now what is a direct proportion? Suppose I eat more, which means I am hungry. So more I am hungry, the more I eat. So my hunger is proportional to what I eat or how much I eat. If there is an inversely proportional thing, the more I am tired, the lesser I will run. So it becomes inversely proportional. A is inversely proportional to B. A will increase, but B will decrease. Whereas in the direct proportion, if A increases, B also increases. So this is nothing but direct proportion and inversely proportional. Let's say A is to B is equal to 6 is to 7 and B is to C is equal to 8 is to 9. Then what is A is to B is to C? Now if you look, there are two ratios individual of each other, A is to B and B is to C. Now A is to B is nothing but 6 is to 7, B is to C is 8 is to 9. B is the common link, but here the common link is not equal. Here it is 7, at the other location it is 8. So we will have to make it common. So we will have to take an LCM of both of them. If you take an LCM, it becomes what? 7 and 8, it becomes 56. So the mean term will become 56. Now if, let's go back to the first one, A is to B is 6 is to 7. So 7 becomes 56, which is multiplied by 8. So 6 also has to be multiplied by 8. So it becomes 48. What happens to C? So B is multiplied by 7. So C should also be multiplied by 7. So that becomes 63. So A is to B is to C is nothing but 48 is to 56 is to 63. So this becomes the A is to B is to C. Let's look at another question. Mean proportion of 9 and 36. Now what is a mean proportion? Now going back to the previous one, A is to B is to C. Now they are supposed to be in a proportion. What is mean proportion is when A is to B equal to B is to C. Now B becomes common here, which is nothing but A upon B equal to B upon C. Now we given the A and the C. So A is 9 and C is 36. So B square is nothing but 9 into 36. So B becomes 18. Let's take another one. The monthly salaries of two persons are in the ratio of 4 is to 7. If each of them receives an increase of rupees 25 in their salary, the ratio is altered to 3 is to 5. Find their respective salaries. Let's take the first one. 4 is to 7 is the ratio of their salaries. So let's assume that the first one is 4x and the second one is 7x. If we add 25, that is the increment that they receive. So 4x plus 25 and the second one becomes 7x plus 25. 
Now, 4x plus 25 upon 7x plus 25 is the new ratio, which is nothing but 3 is to 5. Solving this, we can get 200 as A and 350 as B. Now, this is a salary before the increment. Let us have a new example. The ratio of marks of A and B is 6 is to 5. If the combined average is 68.75% and the sum total of their marks is 275, find the maximum marks in the exam. A is to B is 6 is to 5. So, A can be assumed as 6x and B as 5x. So, 6x plus 5x will give me the total marks which is 275. So, x becomes 25. Now, this 275 is also the combined average which is 68.75%. So, if I take 1 at a time, 137.5 is 68.75% of the total. So, the total becomes what? 200. Let us have a look at another one. Rupees 432, 432 is divided amongst 3 workers A, B and C. In a such a manner that 8 times A share is equal to 12 times B share which is equal to 6 times C share. So, what is it? 8 times A is equal to 12 times B which is equal to 6 times C. If I try to reduce it, A is to B is nothing but 12 is to 8 which is 3 is to 2. Similarly, B is to C is nothing but 6 is to 12 which is nothing but 1 is to 2. So, if I have to put it into a continuous one, then A is to B is to C is nothing but 3 is to 2 is to 4 the way we did last time. The 2 in the first case will change the second one into 2 and hence the 2 becomes 4. So, 3 is to 2 is to 4. Now, if I add all of them, 3x which is A, 2x which is B and 4x which is C will total up to 432. So, x is what? 48. This is how ratio and proportion can be used to solve a variety of problems across.